What is a healthy lifestyle? How do we define healthy lifestyle? It's an interesting word, but it actually has two things that we need to overlap with one another. What are those things is going to be what you're going to discover in this video. This clip, by the way, was taken from a longer video about how to create a healthy lifestyle this year. So if you enjoy this clip, go to check out the full video, the full 25 minutes video about how to create a healthy lifestyle this year. Now, let's start. Welcome to the Wellness Messiah podcast. I'm your host, Riman. Health, without what you truly want, is almost an undefined term. To make this year amazing, you need to lit the fire of motivation. And for that, you need to define what health means to you, to define exactly. Health means different things to different people. To the gym trainer, health is low body fat and high muscle mass. To the dietitian, health is a balanced diet with the right amount of calories. To your doctor, health is low cholesterol and, and a healthy blood pressure. But what does health mean to you? Of course, always listen to your doctor. But besides that, don't let anybody define for you what you want with your body. Set your own definition. Ask yourself, what do you want to achieve the most with your body and with your health? Do you want to look younger than your real age? Do you want to feel more energetic and to wake up every morning full of energy? Do you want to improve your focus and concentration so you'd be more productive at your work? Maybe you want to gain muscle mass and improve your weight. Or maybe you really want to have a strict control over your health status so you could gain protection against those diseases. Or maybe you want to be just the healthiest you could be. To me, quote-unquote health is vitality and youth. I care about those things the most. Vitality is about increasing energy in the body, and youth is about keeping my body young and with it the state of excellent health. Whatever you decide in this step will dictate everything else, the tools, the tactics, and the information you will need this year. So it's worth pondering, even for a week or two. That's fine, take your time and decide what you truly, truly want. Around that desire, you can set the goal, and around that goal, you can set the lifestyle that you dream of. Let's go to strategy number two. Separate between tools and results. A common mistake we all make when trying to stay healthy is confusing between tools and results. The confusion is so large that tools such as diet have become almost like a religion. You need to follow the diet because it's your moral obligation. And if the diet doesn't fit your needs, then you are the problem because you would resist the tool. Does that make any sense to you? Not to me. What matters the most is the results that you want, which is usually an experience or emotion that you want to feel or an identity you want to adopt to have for yourself. Diet is just a tool. The same with exercise, supplements, sleep, detox, cutting sweets, stress reduction. All of these are simply tools. And what you want and not the tools, what it is that you want dictates the path. For example, if vitality and youth are my goals, from there I can ask which tools will help me to get there. But I don't need all the tools, neither do you. And that helps us greatly to simplify your lifestyle. Once you separate the tools from the results, you can focus on only on the tools that give you what you want. By revolving around the results and the desire that you want, you eliminate the need to apply million things at once. And you eliminate the judgment about your choices. There is still a major problem to achieving simplicity in your lifestyle. There are endless things to do to quote-unquote stay healthy. There are million types of exercises, foods, supplements, and illegal drugs you can use. Oh, the last one, it was a joke, right? Despite all of those tools, how do you simplify it from there? In essence, by searching the few things and few habits that work extremely well for you personally and repeat them over and over. And those habits should be the perfect overlay between what is effective in health to what you enjoy and fits perfectly into your ideal lifestyle. In a way, a long-term healthy lifestyle includes a lifestyle design, which only you can do. Here are a few tips that are going to help you simplify your lifestyle in a way that's going to make you healthy and happy. 1. Search for the 8 to 10 things that give you the most benefits. Find a few things that give you the most benefit for the least amount of effort. Remember, you don't need every tool or every habit. 
Just find a few things that help you stay the healthiest and fit perfectly into your enjoyable lifestyle. Tip 2. Take into account what makes you happy. Your lifestyle is, is unique, and only you know what makes you happy. This is why no expert could design your ideal lifestyle, because the expert will always miss half of the picture, what makes you happy. When you're adding habits, think about long-term design of your lifestyle. Tip 3. Journal and measure. Document your journey and gradually discover what works best for you. That's what I do personally. I continuously journal what works for me. And as I get more educated in health, I learn to connect between what I want and what is effective. Tip 4. Use simple formulas. Simple formulas are one of the best ways I've found to simplify lifestyle. Once you know what you want, ask, what's the simplest way to get it? Is there a formula out there? Formulas simplifies the ways for you. There are many formulas in health and wellness. It just depends on what it is that you want the most.